Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW James here at West Jerome BMW. How you doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the different ways that you can charge your PHEV or BEV. That's your plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or battery only electric vehicle. With that, let's get started right down here. So looking at the side here, whenever you get to your door of your PHEV, open it up. And the thing you'll see right here, this is the uh, this is the female socket for a J1772 plug. I'll show you that in just a second in the back. I'm also going to show you on the i3 or maybe even my Mini. My Mini also has a uh, DC fast charge option on it. And I'll show you that on that as well. But that will be two extra plugs on the bottom here. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But when you have this, that means that you, when you have a particular PS, that means you have two options to charge your vehicle. You can either start with a level one charger which will look like your temporary charger that comes with the car. By the way, this is the J1772 plug. That is the standard for the uh, uh, the entire industry. Uh, it's also the ones that you'll find on most chargers that are level two uh, out there. Actually, it's the only one for level two chargers. The only other ones that do not follow this are some of the Japanese companies. Like for instance, if you get a Nissan Leaf that has a Chadmo option, for a uh, fast charging as well as Tesla, which has their own proprietary uh, technology. But this is the industry standard for the US at the moment. This one is a level one. You can tell by its level one charger. That's a 110 outlet that goes right there. This also has a mounting option. So if you look on the back hand side of it, you'll see it has mounting holes. So if you want to mount it inside of your garage instead of keeping it in your car, you can do that. The other option that you get is level two charging. Let's take a quick hop on over there to show you what level two looks like. So here we are for a level two charger, and this is the kind that you can get at your home. This one right here is the charge point charger. It gives Wi-Fi capabilities so I can check up on my usage and all that from uh, <clears throat> the charge point app. Now, just like any other, just like uh, you would do at a dealership. Now this again is a home charger. This works on a 50 amp service. You would simply bring it to your car, pop it right on open. Take this little guy off. If you have just normal PIA, you probably won't have that. And plug in. Now, because this is a level two charger, that does mean that it gets 220, uh, sorry, 240 volts of electricity, 50 amps, which means this charges at 7.7 .7 kilowatts. Uh, the nice thing about this is, you know, you plug it in, you can do preconditioning, all the things we talked about before. By the way, this is what I was talking about earlier. So this is the temporary charger that we use for uh, our plug-in hybrid. So obviously we are a sub BMW family here at my house, working on a Mini Countryman SE all four PHEV and a Mini Cooper SE. So yeah, that'll be the difference between those. And uh, nice thing about that, as I was trying to say earlier, uh, you can do preconditioning, things like that, through your BMW Connected app or Mini Connected app if you have a Mini. Same th system works for both. Uh, it'll allow you to precondition the battery. Uh, before you do that, uh, something to keep in mind, do have your car plugged in and scheduled for at least three hours before you leave. That gives the battery optimum time to be preconditioned. Whether you have a PHEV or a BEV, it works the same way. Uh, for both, giving you the best possible usage out of your energy. Uh, another thing you can do with that, uh, so you don't have to run down your battery, is whenever you do preconditioning, that basically warms up the engine, whether that's from um, heat pump that you have inside, that's what the newer ones have, or the other ones have uh, basically heating elements that basically turns on and starts to warm the cabin uh, when it's colder out, and also turn on AC when it's hotter out. Now, when you have yourself plugged into a level two charger, that basically means you're not gonna be losing as much power or a battery charge uh, compared to if you're on a level one charger. If you're on level one, that means you're gonna be using more of the battery that's battery charge that's inside your car to do your preconditioning um, because the amount of power coming in is not the same as the amount of power needed for your preconditioning. Uh, as you move up to, again, the BEVs, newer ones have heat pumps. Those take significantly less energy. So even if you do have no uh, level two charger, you're not gonna be using as much energy, but on a level two charger, the amount of energy going in is the same as the amount of energy being used 
for that preconditioning. But enough of that, let's head over to a level three charger to actually talk about that. All right, one more thing before I jump over to that level three and start talking about that back at the dealership. You know, nothing like some movie magic to be able to go from dealership back to home, back to the dealership. Anyway, um, before I do that, I did want to show one little thing in case you're ever curious about. Around the inside of the door handle here, you do have your little charge option. So what it'll let you know is whether it's charging, in the process of charging, uh, whether it's on a temporary charge, not charging, but basically bottom line is you have your color right here. So obviously flashing means that it is currently charging. Uh, you'll have just a normal white light or a blue lights, depending on which model you have, letting you know that it's ready for a charge. It'll be green when it's fully charged. And if it goes red, that means that there is a problem. If you ever do have a problem, all you have to do is unplug it and then plug back in. That'll be a quick way to go about that. One other thing to think about is if you are using your temporary charger, that's your level one charger, the one that comes with the car. Well, that's plugged into your normal outlet. There is a chance because this is weatherproof, not waterproof, that means it could take a little bit of a sprinkling of rain, a little dust, things like that, but it can't be submerged. Uh, if you ever do have that, you may need to um, unplug it, let it dry out, and plug it back in. As opposed to a level two charger, which tends to be weatherproof altogether, which by the way, here's that situation right here. Let me see if I can get this guy out of here. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, uh. There we go. Nice, big, enormous plug in comparison. But yes, enough of that. Let's plug it back in. There we go. Alrighty. Back to the dealership. Tally ho! And here we are, now at our level three charger. So this is what you'll find if you go to a level three charger. This particular one is an EV Go, BMW's newest companion. And just like other ones, you have the option of a CCS or Chatamo. Now the main difference between these are the actual systems in which they connect. So you see Chatamo is a little bit different. That's mainly just from certain Japanese groups as opposed to the CCS or combo charger. Now what this does, this combines uh, the typical, sorry, this combines the typical J1772 plug with the DC fast charger underneath. So, pardon me, I'm literally using a two hands for a three hand job here. So now, when you plug into that lower section right there, it'll simply, oh God, angles. Here we go, in you go. Ah, yeah. Bingo. What they don't tell you is that the, because these cords are so thick and they have so much power in them, they are super heavy and hard to kind of control and maneuver to get into spot. But that's beside the point. Uh, with that, let's bring out my little card here and we'll get going on a DC fast charge. So you can have the option of this. You can also have a card on your physical, boom. You can also have a card on your physical uh, phone I'm oh, sorry, not a physical card. You can have a digital card on your phone, at which points you can use your phone as your charging medium. But with that, now right here, we got the session initiating. There's the click. And you know, this particular one has started. And now when you move into, say, cover, there we go. This little guy right here, so I'm only at 73%, so I'm not exactly doing this for the actual fast charge that is necessary. But the point is, it will start in there, start charging, and everything would happen significantly faster. Now, for instance, my particular car only charges at 50 kilowatts. Uh, that's all to prevent uh, any kind of overstimulation or overpowering the battery and wearing out components that are inside of it. Obviously, the newer ones, they can take anywhere up to 150 to 200 kilowatts, like the new iX that's coming out. Um, all those will charge significantly faster, uh, considering the amount of energy coming in uh, from the level three charger. <clears throat> something that is worth noting, you will notice that all level three chargers, whenever they have a charge time, it usually says something like 20 to 80 or 10 to 80% charge. That's mainly because as it, nah, charging. Uh, that's mainly because as it charges, whenever you get beyond a certain point, uh, that's, oh, 
that noise in the back of my son. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's just joining us for this little section here. Hey, love bug. Can I finish speaking before you start? Well, he's joining in. Anyway, so it stops that 80% charge mainly because as you're going, uh, it levels that off and kind of slows the amount of charge rate that it has um, after 80% to keep the battery from, you know, wearing out. It prolongs battery life, makes it so your battery lasts longer, which everyone wants with a battery powered car because why not? <laughs> but anyway, that's why they mean when they, that's why it only says like 10 to 80 or 20 to 80 percent uh in a certain amount of time that's because again it throttles the power after a certain amount of time giving you better battery life and battery longevity so with that thanks so much for being with us have a great rest of your day for any questions leave them in the comments below and be sure to like comment share and subscribe to our channel we greatly appreciate everything you guys do for us have a great rest of your day bye bye